India and region for existence. India, Pakistan, Philippines, Indonesia, Oceania, etc. compose the here-meant ancestral region, which should be seen as independent of actual geopolitical regions and politics. Ancestrality and Agroforests This video is about the importance of ancestral practices, humus, and ancestral agroforests, which were enriched forests with deep dark carbon soils, and their importance for humans to solve our threats, to get ourselves out of the perfect storm and thrive once again in time, and for humans to become more human in a more human world. The Austronesian expansion and the Indus Valley culture played a key role in the populating of the world and were far more important than out of Africa was. India and Pakistan, Indus Valley influence, Southeast Asia, Indonesia and Oceania play a far greater, more defining genetic and ancestral role in the populating of the world than is accepted and supported by consensus, ancestrality, cradle of humanity, origin. The minimization and negation of India's and the region's role could be the result of manipulation of science for geopolitical reasons that at the end will prejudice all parties and the whole world and its existence. In the former century, overwhelmingly more evidence was discovered in favor of out of Asia, Indonesia, and Oceania than for out of Africa that still lacks a serious scientific proof. Many extreme old fossils, much older than 50 to 80,000 years, which corresponds with the supposed period of out of Africa, were found in Asia, etc., and were declared to be sister groups of modern humans or mysterious groups, just as what had happened with Neanderthals that also were much older than the supposed out of Africa, and also do not fit in consensus. Possibly because this out of Asia was inconvenient for consensus in general, and even for certain countries, governments, in the region in particular, out of Africa, once more became consensus globally, this despite. 1. An increasing number of evidence in favor of out of America, and also out of Asia, etc. 2. An increasing number of paradigms in disfavor of out of Africa. As certain ancestral practices prove to be able to regulate climate and even cool the world to the degree of ice ages, this probably makes it clear that if it would depend on Europe and USA, the so-called developed world that dominates consensus in this matter, the threats, perfect storm, the solutions and action plan most probably will not be recognized soon, let alone be practiced anytime soon or in time, this way putting at risk all existence. After all, the so-called developed world counts the most beneficiaries of the actual situation, business as usual, that clearly is not sustainable, neither peaceful, nor without risks of extinction. Even in Europe and the USA, inequality, poverty, malnutrition, etc., are rising substantially, only with the exception of the powerful and extremely rich. Those extremely rich possibly suppose themselves shielded against the threats, and kind of untouchable and even innocent and humanitarian instead, because of certain supposed philanthropic actions. Clear Voice a clear voice of the numerous Indians, Pakistani and other people, especially those who speak or understand English or Portuguese, could and would make the difference and could lead the world to solutions and an effective action plan that would solve the threats to humanity in general and certain countries and areas most under threat or prone to economic damage in particular. Use of our videos, etc. Our videos, etc. are in English, Portuguese and some also in Dutch, Spanish and French. We will try to post at least this particular video in local languages like Hindi, etc. We hope that translators, reviewers, and or editors will present themselves and their work. We also look for partnerships to edit and improve all our videos in English, etc. Our videos, etc. can be freely used, published, or translated. We only request to include links to our videos, etc. and recognize our authorship, etc. whenever applicable. This channel features many videos supporting Out of America and Through Oceania, Australia, Sahul Land, Indonesia, Sundaland, Southeast Asia and India, Austronesian Expansion or Post-Austronesian Expansion, and the Amerindian as Ancestor, amongst others because science and especially sciences ancestral markers clearly support Amerindian origin. Enriched agroforests and ADE soils solve climate challenge and other threats. As recently as the last decade, Scientists discovered that Amerindians and indigenous people played an essential role in the formation of the soils of Amazon forest and other tropical forests and their climate, 
exercising biotic pump and cooling effects in the regions of the forest itself and indirectly regulating the whole planet. These ancestors sustained, also Paleolithic, actions led to CDR and consequential reduced CO2 in the atmosphere, cooling of the planet, including causing ice ages. The better known are the Younger Dryas, Antique Little Ice Age, as well as the Medieval Little Ice Age. In other words, without the lifestyle and action of certain of our ancestors in the past, these tropical forests, especially the Amazon forest, would not be what they are today. Also climate, biodiversity, productivity of soils, etc., would be inferior to what they still are today, despite the degradation, destruction, and deforestation caused in modern times. Origin, ancestrality, and understanding our ancestors' actions in the past will play a key role in solving the actual threats to humanity. So the above important role of India and its wider region in the past will be key to solving modern times' threats and the preservation of human existence. Together with Amazon Amarins, the authors of this video, etc., were involved in a 1,000-hectare research project that applied a manual, not invasive nor destructive, technique similar to the technique the Amazon Amarins used to enrich the forest soils and the Amazon forest in the past. If this scientifically proven technique would, once again, be applied in the tropical forests, it would sequester 35 to 100 billion tons of CO2 out of the atmosphere per year, CDR which in turn would increase biodiversity, cool, regulate, and benefit the planet and its climate and solve most, if not all the threats to humanity. We also appeal to the Indian, Pakistan, other regional people, as well as all indigenous people from all over the world, to make themselves seen and heard online, and make the rest of the world conscient of the now scientifically proven ancestral, solutions to threats, and eventually solve all threats to humanity, simply by assisting our channels and passing on our links directly and indirectly to others and the world. Compared to the inhabitants of the USA and Europe, India's and the region's inhabitants already practice lifestyles that are more in line with the most supportive lifestyles to solve the threats to humanity and to take care of our planet. Global Polarity Global polarity feeds and accelerates the ongoing perfect storm which already includes disease X, climate challenges, rising sea levels, sinking cities, radicality, threat of war and nuclear winter, AMR, etc. Global polarity makes that the powerful will make more money with monoculture, massive commercial land acquisitions and grabbing, conflict, weapons, and shortages like in Ukraine, etc., and turn 8 billion humans into passive bystanders, appending democracy and possibly existence, etc. A growing mass of humans passing forward the links of our videos with action plan and enriched or ancestral agroforests, opting for consuming food and goods provenient from enriched agroforests would break this polarization, dehumanization, the perfect storm and the threat of war. Even in case this would make the rich and powerful also invest in enriched agroforest, this would add to solving the perfect storm, etc. Anyhow, thank you for your attention.